Decorated pots and pottery shards have been added to Minecraft as of 1.20. I'm going to show you how to craft them, but keep watching because I will show you exactly how to find each shard design. There are two types of materials you can use when crafting a decorated pot. You have a brick and pottery shard. Now, if you want a plain pot, all you need to do is use four bricks like this, and you've got no designs on it. So it's like this one right here. Just place that down. But you can also create them with pottery shards, and they have different designs on all four. And I'll show you exactly where to find all of these. So this one is fully decorated. And you can see all the sides. So as you can see, we've got that, 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 and that. You can also mix the bricks with the shards. So let's say we put a brick here and a brick here, and one shard here and one shard here. You're going to get this. So on these two sides, you have the design. On these, it's plain. Decorated pots can actually be stacked on top of each other. So you need to actually be above, and you can stack them on top like this, as you can see. Now, if you want to try something else here, how about another type of block? You can actually place other blocks on top. This could give you some interesting column designs. To break a decorated pot, there are a few different ways. If you use any tool, just a regular tool, and break it, it will actually break into the individual pieces that it's made up of. Same with this, you get the pottery shards back. But if you use silk touch, you'll get the pot. If you use any kind of object, you get the... Uh, you get the pot again. But let me just move this out of the way. If you use your hand, you also get the pot. The only way that it breaks into multiple pieces is if you use any tool that does not have silk touch. To find the pottery shards, you're going to need a brush. And you're going to need to brush suspicious sand or suspicious gravel. There are five locations where you can find the pottery shards, so let's take a look at them. Heading over to the desert, a common structure you will find is the desert well. You can find some inside. So if you look down in here, there is suspicious sand right here. So all you need to do is brush and you should be getting something, quite possibly a shard, and we just did. Now there is going to be one more, and there it is, directly underneath. And again, we've got another shard. But the types of shards that we can find are right here. We've got the Arms Up and Brewer. The second location is the Desert Pyramid. Now, this is fairly simple. All you need to do is go in and find some sand on the floor. All you need to do is start digging down and you will find that there is a hidden room. That's right. And you'll also find some suspicious sand. Make sure that while you are excavating the room, don't break these blocks. You need to use a brush. Now, don't be surprised if you don't get a pottery shard. You just keep going. You just keep digging and you will eventually find one. And there's one right here. We got a pottery shard. There are four different pottery shards you can get in the Desert Pyramid. Archer, Miner, Prize, and Skull. Next up are the trail ruins. Now, when you find trail ruins, you're going to find a bunch of things like terracotta. Now, the terracotta is part of the structure. What you're trying to look at is the gravel. You need to find suspicious gravel. Neither of these is suspicious. But you need to uh, dig down. And that one actually was suspicious gravel. So you need to dig down and find this right here. So sometimes you won't get the pottery shards, but keep going. This structure is huge. Here's another one, and it does look like we are getting a pottery shard. 
The trail ruins have seven different kinds of pottery shards. They include burn, danger, friend, heart, heartbreak, howl, and sheaf. Now let's go underwater. This is a cold ocean ruin. The cold ocean ruins have gravel. So you need to find, again, suspicious gravel. So we'll just check this one and it looks like we've already got a pottery shard. There are four pottery shards that you can find at a cold ocean ruin. That includes Blade, Explorer, Mourner, and Plenty. And finally, we need to find a warm ocean ruin for the last set. So again, warm ocean ruins have sand. So here is some suspicious sand right now. And what are we getting? Well, just coal. But don't worry, you can keep on searching because you will find more like this. And you will get some pottery shards like this. There are three pottery shards that you can find at the Warm Ocean Ruin. They are Angler, Shelter, and Snort. How do you plan on using decorated pots? Let me know in the comments below. For more information about suspicious sand and gravel, check out the video on the left. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.